AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, is coming by 2027. That's what the headlines, the tweets, and the viral clips are screaming all over the internet. But let's pause for a second and take a moment to think. Do you really believe that machines and AI will surpass humanity in just two years? Because if you do, you're falling into the most hyped up narrative of the 21st century. See, every few years, tech goes through a fear cycle, which divides the world into two groups. While well, some say it's a breakthrough, others say it's the end of humanity. But these AI 2027 prophecies feel kind of different, and not in a good way. In this video, we're going to discuss why AGI is not possible by year 2027, based on its current working model, and ask one question nobody's answering. Who benefits from making you believe that AGI is right around the corner? So let's begin with some obvious questions questions. Why now? I mean, why this specific year, 2027, being sold as the end of the humanity? Have we really made so much progress in AI that it will soon be a threat to us? Or is everything we're saying about AGI just a controlled narrative? Secondly, if it's really a controlled narrative, then who is benefiting from this? And our final question, where did this idea originate? Was it a confidential data leak, a rogue insider, an intelligence leak? No, it started the way most viral movements start, with powerful, influential voices, vague information, and just enough technical jargon to keep you hooked. Now, there might be some truth to all the news coming out about AGI, but most of these claims just don't even make sense, judging by AI's current reasoning and logical abilities. Let's strip away the hype for a second and look at the reality of where AI is actually at right now. And for that, you need to understand the three biggest roadblocks standing in AGI's way. It's basically the point where increasing AI's intelligence is no longer just a matter of throwing more computers, GPUs, or or servers added. AI models get smarter by being trained on massive amounts of data, and that training requires computation, the processing power of GPUs, TPUs, and other chips. In early stages, you could make models better simply by scaling up hardware. But with each step forward, the amount of computation you need grows insanely fast, often exponentially. For example, this is the amount of computing GPT-3 models required to work, and this is what GPT-4's compute wall looks like. See the difference? Even going from GPT-3 to GPT-4 was already a massive expanse and required hundreds of millions of dollars worth of compute just to get started. This goes to show that jumping from today's AI to AGI isn't simply a train a bigger model problem. Because if GPT-5 is a sports car, AGI would be a spaceship, for which you need a thousand times more compute power just to get it to lift off. And here's the thing, even if you could somehow build that much hardware overnight, you'll still run into the LLM wall. LLM is an AI system trained on massive amounts of text so it can predict and generate language. LLMs learns patterns in how words and phrases appear together, and when you give it a prompt, it predicts the most likely next word over and over again until it forms a sentence. LLMs are great at certain things like answering questions, summarizing, translating, mimicking tones, and even writing code. But there are also areas where they fall painfully short. As Yan Likun, Meta's chief AI scientist, often points out, these models don't understand the world. They lack common sense, awareness, or intentions, and can't reason about reality. They only predict text patterns. So even if it sounds smart or profound, it doesn't know know anything the way humans do. Likun has also warned that simply scaling these models to be bigger and faster won't automatically turn them into conscious reasoning machines. To leap from this to true AGI, researchers believe we'll need an entirely new kind of architecture, one that can build a mental model of the world, learn from experience, and adapt like a living brain. And the truth is, those systems are still on the drawing board. Some, like the world model approach or the new HRM designs, could take years or more to develop, which means no no matter how impressive today's chatbot seem, they're nowhere near the man of a human. So now you've got the hardware and models required to train an AI, but where's the data? See, AI doesn't have its own intelligence as it learns from massive amounts of human-generated text. The more diverse, nuanced, and high quality the data is, the smarter the AI gets. But the problem is, we're running out of it, meaning the amount of complex data required to train advanced AI models is scarce. This is something we call the data wall. It's the point where where AI research runs out of high-quality human-generated data that's needed to train bigger and better models. Now you might think internet is full of data, so why can't we just use it to train AI? That's not how it works. There's only so much high-quality human-generated text on the internet, and AI labs have already used most of it for training. Once you've scraped the entire web, you can't magically produce more fresh, diverse, and accurate data at scale. Even John Shulman, co-founder of OpenAI, has been vocal about this problem. 
warning that the supply of high-quality training data is finite and that simply throwing more compute at AI models won't solve it. Since we do not have enough data to begin with, AI companies will have to train their models on synthetic data, which is content generated by other AIs, and this could lead to something called model collapse. Because when AIs learn from their own output, mistakes and biases can amplify over time, making the AI get worse, not better. You can throw more GPUs at the problem to get past the compute wall or design better architecture to tackle the LLM wall, but if you don't have fresh, reliable data, the AI has nothing new to learn from. That's the hard limit. Now you know that our progress in AI is currently nowhere near the possibility of AGI happening soon. So why is this AI 2027 takeover being pushed so hard? Let's unpack the motives behind it because there are a couple of reasons driving this hype. Number one, the awareness campaign. The most charitable view. These predictions aren't meant to be real. Just a way to spark a global discussion regarding AI safety and regulations before it's too late. Number two, strategic fear mongering. Since what I believe the most probable reason behind this narrative, this whole campaign is just for hype. Just think for a second, who benefits from the world being terrified of AGI? It's the very companies building it. Fear not only creates hype, it holds the power to change public opinion and drives billions of dollars in investment from power-hungry people, including tech companies, AI startups, consultants, analysts, media outlets, investors, and venture capitalists. As a MIT review has pointed out, these AI doomsday narratives conveniently serve corporate interests by attracting funding, steering the conversation towards hypothetical futures instead of present-day accountability. Number three, the lobbying documents. By framing AI as an existential arms race against countries like China, it pressures governments to pour billions into AI development and lose and regulations on domestic companies. The Washington Post has reported that companies like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft have actively lobbied policymakers using this exact framing, positioning themselves as the nation's best defense in a global AI competition. Just like that, there are hundreds of possibilities and reasons behind this whole AGI narrative. So is AI 2027 legit? Well, maybe one day AGI could become real. And to make that happen, scientists must achieve exponential leaps in compute power, model architecture, and data efficiency all at the same time. We need breakthroughs that not only overcome the compute wall and data wall, but also give AI something it fundamentally lacks today. The ability to truly understand, reason, and adapt beyond pattern recognition. But the truth is, it's impossible to see it happening anytime soon. The systems we have today, as impressive as they seem, don't show any clear and inevitable path to AGI in the next couple of years. Now, could there be breakthroughs that change the game overnight? Absolutely. But when I look past the hype into the actual progress, AI 2027 feels less like a scientific claim and more like a narrative that's been pushed to benefit only a few people. So until we see real evidence, treat the countdown as it what actually is. A headline to grab your attention.